Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Mm. Um, it's getting more and more popular with all kinds of species. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to drop shot for giant bluegills. And I'm sure, you know, if you haven't heard of drop shot, you know, you can check this out. Um, go do a YouTube search of drop shot videos. A lot of people drop shot bass and stuff, but it works for other species too. And like there's different ty types of drop shot weights. Here's the one we'll be using today. Can't remember what, what weight this guy is. There's different weights, you know, use bigger weights for deeper water, so on and so forth. Um, and then what I like to use, like this is a size four Aberdeen hook. You want, I prefer something with a nice long shank. That way when you're drop shotting, because this hook, you know, directly sits, you know, straight out and the fish come and they bite onto it. Well, if you have a short hook, you know, you have this line is up and down. You don't want them getting that line. You want a nice long hook so they can grab onto that. And the good news about drop shotting, I mean, you can set you can set this weight or the, this hook any depth you want. So I'm actually using a polymer knot is my favorite knot to use. So you're tying a pretty much a long a long tag end depending on where you're at. Um, look up polymer knot if you guys don't know how to t how to tie one. There's different ways to do it, but I'm just going to tie a polymer knot here. All right, after you tie your polymer knot, you look, your hook should be standing straight out at a 90 degree angle. That's what you want, so the fish can come right up and bite on it. You can see I got two feet of line out here. And then your drop shot weight, you know, you just put your line through here and give it a little tug up and it'll snap on. There we go. Got my little drop shot on there. And there we go, my hook, I'm probably two, two and a half feet. That's what I'm going to go with. A lot of these fish are that far off the bottom. I'm going to get this out there, get a leech or crawler on it, and try and get us some big gills. All right, guys. Got this hook here. I'm going to hook this leech right in the back sucker here. Gills are going to come up. Bite onto that, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> Now this this is a like a awesome technique for getting right on top of fish. You know if you're going and all of a sudden you know you see actually there were some fish on the graph here, <clears throat> but if you see fish on the graph, you literally drop this drop shot down. And what's happening is that weight is sitting on the bottom, and essentially what you're doing is is you're 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 keep, you're trying to keep consistent contact with the bottom while jiggling this. And it's going to make that leech, you can actually see that leech down there just swimming. And then we'll come up and hit that thing. There he is, right there. See that? Bang, bang. Here's a nice pot of fish now. Here's a big bluegill. Oh my god, that's a real nice one. Yeah, that long, that nice long shank gets him right by the tip of the nose. Big fish. Quite a few fish out here. Oh God, here's a bud. That leech is still uh, looking like he's ready. What do you guys think, huh? shot back down there and there's a pile of fish down there. Here, connection with bottom, there's there's already fish on it. <laughs> already a fish on it. That thing hit bottom and I didn't even have to wait for it to feels like a decent fish. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, that's a real nice fish right there. Another one right by the schnout. Yeah. There we go. That'll be 
you there. Okay, get them right by the nose like that. That's why I love the drop shot, you know. Still. Right back down there, make connection with bottom. There we go. Oh, there's already fish on it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Gosh. That's what's so nice about this drop shot. You can target what range you want to try to catch these fish at, you know? If they're if they're five feet off the bottom, I mean you can set your drop shot five feet off the bottom if you wanted to. Ah, oh, these bluegills are just like a silverish greenish goldish awesomenessness. There's a bite. There's a bite. The most important thing you're doing, you know, when you're fishing with this drop shot, it's absolutely keeping very close contact with the bottom. That keeps your t your line tight, so your hook's not moving around, so on and so forth. Oh, that's a real nice one there. That's a giant. Oh gosh, I'm gonna lift him into the boat. <laughs> that's a donkey. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Sorry there, bud. We're gonna get you back in the water. SDP. There we go fish all right yeah so you're you're making consistent contact with the bottom that keeps your line tight it keeps that that leech out there and swimming and it really entices that fish to bite oh there's a fish oh i wasn't i wasn't even marking any that time wasn't even marking fish that time I need to get some spot. I need to get spot lock something for this. On this ultra light rod, rod, this is an absolute blast, you guys. Giant bluegills on an ultra light rod drop shotting. That's a big fish. My drop shot got a little tangled up there, maybe. Oh wait, no, no, it's just my go. There they are. They're back. They're back. Down to the bottom. There we go. Oh. That was almost instant. That was almost instant. I just feel like I'm begging. Is this a, is it a bluegill? It is a bluegill. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, yeah, it's a big one. Another just a huge fish. Oh, what up? So, drop shotting for big bluegills. That was a blast. You know, drop shotting, it's, you know, it's, it's mostly a bass technique, but I mean, you can use it for all kinds of species. And the best part about drop shotting, um, and I mentioned on the video somewhere, is the fact that, you know, here's my tungsten drop shot right here, and here, you know, two and a half, maybe three feet above it is my hook. So when I am, you know, making contact with the bottom, this, this is just sitting here, you know, holding on the bottom, and this hook is just twitching. Just twitching the tip of my rod, dragging this along the, bo the bottom. And now I know, after looking at my unit, the, major the majority of these fish are, you know, two feet off the bottom. And bluegills, they always feed up, you know, a foot. So as long as I'm keeping constant contact with the bottom, it's keeping that bait three feet off the bottom. Versus, and you can do it for anything. I mean, you could, you've seen crappies, you know, six feet off the bottom or something. You could move it up two more feet and put a fathead on here. I mean. It's a just a very versatile setup. Um, yeah. Anyway, I got lost here a little bit. Oh, using my tuned up custom rod, seven foot two Apex Elite. Actually, this is, this is just this is just the Apex version. Um, you can get the Elite version online. Um, PC Fun Carbon X one thousand reel, six pound test line. 
I've used this for all kinds of stuff. You guys have seen me use it for everything all spring. Um, I talk about my equipment a lot right at the end of the video, but this rod's amazing. Seven foot two, this thing will handle a load. I mean, big crappie, big sunfish. You got a big walleye, got big walleyes on this thing. Anyway, long shank Aberdeen hook on this drop shot, man. That's very important. Like I said, you if you got a bluegill or something that's sitting out there, you know, and they want to bite onto this hook, you know, you don't want a short hook where they're gonna bump into the line. You want a long shank where they can swim up, suck that hook in, and now they got just a tip of the shank sticking out of their mouth. You've seen probably on a lot of the bluegills they took off, they're hooked right at the tip of the lip there. I was using uh, leeches and I switched to crawlers. They all work fantastic. Anyway, hope you guys loved this video. Please like, share, subscribe, share this video. I appreciate all your guys' support. Um, just trying to get these videos out. I work full time during the summer, a little bit harder in winter time. Anyways, we're headed to 30K, baby. Thanks for watching.